The White Death. Simo Heha. The greatest sniper in history. Simo Simuna Heha was born in the municipality of Rajarvi in the Grand Duchy of Finland, in present-day southern Finland near the border with Russia on December 17, 1905. At the age of 17, he joined the Finnish voluntary militia White Guard, Suoja Leskanta, and was also successful in shooting sports and competitions in the Viapuri province. His home was reportedly full of trophies for marksmanship. During the 1939-40 Winter War between Finland and the Soviet Union, Hay has served as a sniper for the Finnish Army against the Red Army in the 6th Company of Junior 34 during the Battle of Kala in temperatures between minus 40 degrees Celsius, minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit, and minus 20 degrees Celsius, minus 4 degrees Fahrenheit, dressed completely in white camouflage. Because of Joseph Stalin's purges of military experts in the late 1930s, the Red Army was highly disorganized and the Soviet troops were not issued with white camouflage suits for most of the war, making them easily visible to snipers in winter conditions. At one point the Finns at Kola were facing 12 divisions, some 160,000 men. And it was in the Kala area where the famous Battle of Killer Hill took place with 32 Finns battling 4,000 Soviet soldiers. These were the hunting grounds of Simo Heha. The Finnish forces in the region were under the command of Major General Lulu Ochuampo and they faced the 9th and 14th Soviet armies. All of Heha's kills were accomplished in fewer than 100 days an average of just over five per day, at a time of year with very few daylight hours. December 2, 1939, 138 sniper kills. January 26, 1940, 199 sniper kills. February 17, 1940, 219 sniper kills. March 7, 1940, when Simo Heho was seriously wounded. Total of 259 sniper kills, 40 in 18 days. Heha used his issued Civil Guard rifle, an early series Sako M-2830, SN.35281-Civil Guard District No. S60974. The rifle was a Finnish Civil Guard variant of the The rifle was a Finnish Civil Guard variant of the Mosin-Nagant rifle, known as Pastikorva, literally the Spitz. Due to the front sight's resemblance to the head of a Spitz type dog, chambered in the Finnish Mosin Nagant cartridge 7.62x53R. For Heihan, the end of the war came just one week earlier, when he was struck in the face by an incendiary round. He was picked up by fellow soldiers who said half his face was missing, but he did not die, regaining consciousness on 13th of March, the day peace was declared. It took several years for Heho to recuperate from his wound. The bullet had crushed his jaw and removed most of his left cheek. Nonetheless, he made a full recovery and became a successful moose hunter and dog breeder after World War II, and even hunted with the Finnish President Rokakonen. When asked in 1998 how he had become such a good sniper, Heha answered, Practice. In 2002, just before his 96th birthday, he was asked if he regretted killing so many people. He replied, I only did what I was told to do, as well as I could. Simo Heihan died in a war veteran's nursing home in Haimina in 2002 at the age of 96, and was buried in Ruakaladi.